Today, your boy King Aleko got a story to tell. But what's a better way to tell a story with the world's spiciest noodles times two? So today, I'm gonna tell you guys a story while eating the world's spiciest noodles. So let's go make these boys. The original noodles are already hot, but the spicy. These are two times the spice. Do you realize how hot that's gonna be? These noodles are already hot as hell. Okay guys, I got a story to tell, but why would I tell a story without making you guys see me eat the world's spiciest noodles? You guys see the steam, so you guys already know they're piping hot and they're very, very spicy as you have to see. These are the Bodak, Bodak, twice the spice noodles, but let's get into the story. But before I get into the story, let's get into a bite of these noodles. Let's get a big bite before I start this story. Mm. That's hot. I'm not gonna tap out with milk yet. Let's see how long I can last. I wanted to go to the most haunted place in Wisconsin. And you guys know I dropped a video. Damn, these things are hot. I dropped a video saying that I was going to Stevens Point, a haunted bridge with a bloody bride that you're supposed to see in the back of your car when you go on that bridge. Damn, these are hot. Um. I was planning on going there to shoot the video of me going to the world's haunted bridge in Wisconsin. So when I was heading out there, I was just thinking, oh, let's get it. Just myself. No one, no one else was going out there. Only me. My family didn't want to go out there. They didn't want to see the creepy stuff. They didn't want to even be next to this haunted thing. So I was the only one brave enough because I told my channel I was going to go there. So like any other time when I go, I pack my backpack full of equipment. I had everything packed and um, I had my cameras, my extra batteries, my lights, right? And I was supposed to go there. When when was this part taken? I was supposed to go there, guys, March 25th. And I was already heading up there. It was 9 o'clock because at midnight you're supposed to see this bloody bride. So it's about a two and a half hour drive. So I wanted to hurry up and get out there to record that part so if I could see this bloody bride on this bridge for this most haunted place in Wisconsin to investigate. So I was heading up there. I went to stop and go get gas. Uh, these got a good taste to them, but they're spicy as heck. They're really spicy. So I was heading up out there and just got the car all packed with my camera equipment, everything, lights, my tripod everything so i had to bring extra stuff because usually i had someone record for me or like for those type of videos i had someone record for me and usually like my sister would go my mom would go my dad would go but no one wanted to go um to this haunted place so i was packing the car up getting ready to head out there i checked the tires and something told me to check the tires for this um trip because the crazy part was that this the bloody bride that people are supposed to see out there she died in a car accident so that's why i just wanted to make sure that i checked everything make sure everything was smooth everything so i'm about 20 25 miles out um north of milwaukee right like heading up to the sheboygan area now tell me this i want to stop and go get gas because i want to i don't know this area i want to make sure i have a full tank of gas at all time heading out in that area so i went to stop and go get gas went to go get me something to drink right everything was fine nothing was wrong everything was all good right so i hop back up on the freeway and you know when people catch the speed up onto the freeway and everything before i tell you the next part let me get one more bite of these noodles my lips are burning from this i can't even bitch out with no milk but Back to what I was saying. So you know when you guys are about to speed up onto the freeway to merge onto the freeway part? This was the scariest thing that happened to me. So I was driving, picking up the speed, and, the, and I mind you, the tire pressure, everything was good. I even checked before I left. Something told me to check, and it was all good. Nothing was wrong with them. No holes, no nails, no nothing. So when I was speeding back up onto the freeway trying to get the, to the freeway speed, right? 
So I was going maybe about like 35 miles an hour that my tire on the car exploded. So I had to like, it drift like this way. So I had to like stop on the brakes and everything. Bro, what the fuck? And that was like terrifying because I'm heading up to this place that caused an accident to these people. The most haunted place road in Wisconsin, the bridge, everything. And that was crazy how I almost got into an accident because I was heading up to Stevens Point for this type of video. So I was nervous already. Like I was like, damn, the tire just flew off and I got pictures of it, guys. I'm about to pull up a picture right now of what it looked like. It was like this. And the whole thing, the whole thing exploded off. So I didn't know what to do. I called my dad. I'm by myself. And it's late at night. Mind you guys, it's like I'm already 20, 25 miles out of Milwaukee heading up to the Sheboygan area. I told my dad, we're going to have to get this car towed back to the house. And we have to go get tires put on in the next day because there's no tire shops open around that time. So I had to call the insurance company. They came with a tow truck. I didn't record the part getting towed. I was just freaked out. It was raining that night and everything. Um, thought the night was going to go good. Usually when you see this bloody bride, it's on a cold, rainy night. So I was like, this is the perfect chance to go. So you guys could see the tow truck was there and everything. This was just like a scary moment. <laughs> Let's get another bite of these noodles. And there's more to this story. I mean, I got to get some milk. This is hot. It was cold. Um, it was raining and it was at nighttime. The sun wasn't out, of course. So I had to call the tow truck insurance people and they sent a tow truck to come tow this car. And I had to sit with this guy that I don't even know. I had to get into this tow truck while he was towing the car all the way back to Milwaukee. So I was already sketched out from that because I didn't know if this tow truck was going to do the same thing. I didn't know like if this thing like cursed me or some shit where the tire is going to pop off again or something because that place the lady died because of an accident so i don't know like if that was just bad luck to like not go there or like something told me just to go back home so something that day stopped me from going to stevens point so luckily that nothing bad happened because i was all by myself a miles away from my family but yeah i'm grown and everything but i live with my family i'm really close to my family so of course it's gonna seem different i'm by myself far away from them but yeah guys that video right there it was crazy so i'm gonna still try and go out to stevens point i don't know when i gotta make it work now because with this planning and stuff so i'm still gonna i'm still planning on going there i just don't know when so in the near future your boy king like will be heading out over there so hopefully we can go um so hopefully soon i can go out there but on um, the tow truck driver was like yeah you didn't run nothing over you didn't go over no um i didn't run over no nail no nothing i didn't go over no pothole no nothing because the rim wasn't bent the tire just randomly exploded so luckily i'm okay this was the story i wanted to tell i wish i didn't tell it with these i wanted it with your guys entertainment you guys can see all throughout the video my eyes and stuff all running my nose is running these noodles are hot I just wanted to say, tell you guys this crazy story. I hope you guys been enjoying this video. I wanted to come up on here and tell you guys this crazy story because I know you guys been asking me in my DM, when are you going to go out to Stevens Point to film this video? I tried, guys, but the tire literally exploded. I'm going to just have some more pictures of it. Man, it's midnight, and I just had to get towed home from a tire blowing off on the road. Thank God I'm good. Yeah, um, let me get one big bite of these spicy noodles before I really close out this video. So, I'm not doing this until you guys drop a like on this video. And if you're new, you better subscribe because you gotta see this portion of the noodles right here. These are hot. My nose is running, my eyes are burning. I can't even breathe next to these things. These things are dangerous right here. Three, two, one, like the video. Mmm. Yo, boy. King of Lyco. Out. Peace. Thank you for watching. This is no joke, guys. Look at this. It looks like I got lipstick on. I could have just told the story, but no, I had to go try this hottest fuck noodles on earth.